Pisces horoscope for the month of November 2024. First, I'll do a general overview for you, followed by the monthly calendar where I look at the daily uh, predictions for you. So in November, Pisces faces a challenging month due to the positions of the key planets. Now, Rahu is in an unfavorable position. Jupiter is located in the third house and Saturn is in the 12th house, marking a difficult phase of Sade Sati. So uh, Ketu's placement in the seventh house also brings additional challenges. So this month may test your patience and require careful planning, especially concerning career decisions. So sudden job changes are likely so and they may be unfavorable and could lead to difficulties so uh, let's take a closer look at career now saturn's uh, presence in the 12th house indicate a challenging month for your career you may experience increased work pressures and face disappointments regarding expected outcomes now if you're in business the competition may be intensifying and you could suffer from significant losses due to pressure from your rivals and your competition so adapting to new circumstances will be vital but be cautious about making uh, abrupt changes at your work or your work environment so now let's take a look at finances Financially, November may be turbulent with Jupiter in the third house suggesting rising expenses and limited saving potential. Your earnings may not be significant uh, to cover your increased costs, so leading to financial stress. Now, if you're relocating your business, success might be elusive in the new environment, which could affect your profitability. Now let's take a look at health. Health issues may arise this month, particularly with Jupiter in the third house and the sun in the eighth house until mid-November. So you may experience um, heat-related problems such as sunburns or skin irritations. So it's essential to take care of your health and avoid exposure to extreme conditions. Now let's take a look at love, marriage, and personal relationships. Love and, and marital relationships may struggle this month. The positioning of Jupiter in the third house may create a lack of uh, charm and harmony within the, your interactions. So if you are married, you might find communication challenging, leading to misunderstandings and a lack of connection with your partner. So let's take a look at family and friends. So your family dynamics may also be tested in November with Jupiter in the third house resulting in lapse in your communication and potential arguments. So to foster better relationship with family members, adapting to more accommodating attitude will also be necessary to maintain the harmony and uh, you also need to have shared values within the family. So now let's look at the November calendar for Pisces. The month starts off on a um, cautious note of the first, second and third. Your health will not be at its best on these days. This is where you need to be mindful of your health, your well-being. So take care of your diet and don't overstress yourself. Also be mindful of the energy around you. It also will not be supportive. So you could easily get into an argument with someone. If you're in debt, this is also where you could feel more stressed regarding that debt. Um, and if you have any decisions that need to be made, please uh, avoid them on these days. Not very favorable days for you. Um, now, the fourth and the fifth, the, these are very favorable days where you could uh, reconnect with your spouse. This is where the energies are more supportive within your marriage. Okay, so good days for you. The 6th, 7th, and 8th, these are, again, not supportive days for you. This is where you could feel stressed. This is where your communication with your family also could have a, a bit of an issue as well. Um, so, you know, be, be a little bit mindful on these days. Now, the 9th and the 10th, this is where your energies are good. These are uh, days where your energies are feeling better, more positive. Uh, you'll find that, you know, your father is very supportive on these days. If you need to do any long distance travel, it's good on these days as well. Now, the 11th and 12th, this is where you need to focus your energies on your career, on your um your work environment, your colleagues, your superiors, showcase your talents to the best of your ability. This is not a very favorable month for you regarding career. So you really have to put in the efforts here and you may not see results, but put in the effort because down the road, um, everything that's good to you will come to you. Now, the 13th and the 14th, these are good fun days. So relax, go out with your friends, have a good time, spend some time socializing on these days.
Now, the 15th and 16th, again, unfavorable days. This is where you could have unexpected expenses. This is where something um, could come up uh, regarding your health. Um, and this is where you don't feel like you're being supported. You don't feel like... Um, you feel alone, you feel isolated. So the energies are not good on these days. The 17th and the 18th, these are your days. These are days where you're again, now you're feeling good, you're feeling positive. This is where you recollect your your strength and uh, you, you self reflect and self rejuvenate on these days. So good for you. Now the 19th and 20th, great days, great days for money. Okay, so this is where you want to, you know, cash in on these days. Uh, be mindful of your expenses, because it's not a good month for health or for expenses. Um, so be mindful, you know, so save for that rainy day. So the 21st, 22nd and 23rd, these are also really nice days for you. Nice days for you to spend with your siblings. If you need to take a short trip, if you need to do any local traveling, very positive for that. Uh, maybe take some time and just, you know, work on a hobby so you de-stressed. Very, very good time for that. Um, the 24th, 25th, great days for you. This is where you're happy at home. You're feeling at peace. Everything is good. The energies are flowing here. Um, so this week of the 21st to the 27th, great, great week for you. Um, and the 26th and the 27th, very romantic days if you're single. Uh, the creativity will be on a peak here. Uh, great focus also on these days. So that's a great week for you. So you do have like a heavy month, but the week of the 21st is, you know, you'll get all your energies back, you'll feel happy, you'll feel good. Okay. Um, now the 28th, 29th, and the 30th, again, this is where your health will need, you need to be mindful of your health here, you need to be mindful of your decisions that you're making here. Um, and the energies that are around you, they won't be as supportive as you need them to be. So just, you know, be mindful of that, and it will pass. Um, because the 20, the 31st is a great day. It's a day where you'll feel supportive, you'll feel that you're in sync with your partner, whether it's your marriage partner, whether it's your business partner, the energies are really flowing, you're understanding each other, the communication is good, and the energies are really working well together. So I really hope you're finding my calendars uh, helpful in your day to day planning. If you do enjoy my videos, please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And please while you're at it, please don't forget to press that bell notifications so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Your support is greatly appreciated. Thank you so much for being with me today.